Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 196, where we're using EFT tapping to help integrate and process the resistance around the lessons in the Course in Miracles workbook. So lesson 196, pretty intense one, it can be, but myself I crucify. So again, still on the longer lessons here, let's go to the side of the hand, repeating after me, even though I have not perceived that attacking others attacks myself. I choose to honor and accept myself as best I can. Even though I did not realize I was crucifying myself when attacking others. I choose to have compassion and forgiveness for myself. And even though I have unconsciously feared my own salvation, I choose to honor and accept myself as best I can and to recognize it can be but myself I crucify. Okay, through the points now. It can be but myself I crucify. When this is firmly understood and kept in full awareness, you will not attempt to harm yourself, nor make your body slave to vengeance. You will not attack yourself, and you will realize that to attack another is but to attack yourself. Perhaps at first, you will not understand how mercy can be found in the idea we practice for today. The ego, under what it sees as threat, is quick to cite the truth to save its lies. But you can see, learn to see these foolish applications and deny the meaning they appear to have. Thus do you also teach your mind that you are not an ego. You will not believe you are a body to be crucified. And you will see within today's idea the light of resurrection, looking past all the thoughts of crucifixion and death to thoughts of liberation and of life. Today's idea is one step we take and leading us from bondage to the state of perfect freedom. It is not time we need for this. It is but willingness. For what could seem to need a thousand years can easily be done in just one instant by the grace of God. And so I choose to be willing. I choose to conjure that willingness. The dreary, hopeless thought that you can make attacks on others and escape yourself has nailed you to the cross. Who could believe his father is his deadly enemy, separate from him? Such is the form of madness you believe. If you accept the fearful thought, 
that you can attack another and be free yourself. The fear of God is real to anyone who thinks this thought is true. And now just keep tapping and just listen as we read this section. And then the first line is referring to that thought. So, to question it at all, its form must first be changed at least as much as will permit fear of retaliation to abate, and the responsibility returned to some extent to you. From there, you can at least consider if you want to go along this painful path. Until this shift has been accomplished, you cannot perceive that it is but your thoughts that bring you fear, and your deliverance depends on you. Our next steps will be easy if you take this one today. From there we go ahead quite rapidly. For once you understand, it is impossible that you be hurt, except by your own thoughts. The fear of God must disappear. You cannot then believe that fear is caused without. And God, whom you had thought to banish, can be welcomed back within the holy mind he never left. Yeah, just letting that settle in for a moment. And then you're going to go back to tapping and repeating after me. So, I choose to open myself to this shift in perception, to release the fear of retaliation, to release this fear of God. It can be but you, you crucify. You did not hurt the world and need not fear its vengeance and pursuit. The thing you dread most is your salvation. And I'm welcoming any resistance to this idea. Examining where it might be true that I fear my own salvation. You are strong. You have sought to be both weak and bound. Because you feared your strength and freedom. Yet salvation lies in them. Okay, now I'm going to read another section here. So just keep tapping. Let the words sink in and let the tapping just release any resistance that comes up, especially to this idea of terror, right? So here we go. There is an instant in which terror seems to grip your mind so wholly that escape appears quite hopeless. When you realize once and for all that it is you you fear, the mind perceives itself as split. And this had been concealed while you believed attack could be directed outward and returned from outside to within. It seemed to be an enemy outside you had to fear, and thus a god outside yourself became your mortal enemy, the source of fear. Now, for an instant, is a murderer perceived within you, eager for your death intent on plotting punishment for you until the time when it can kill at last. 
just letting the tapping and breathing process any intensity around these words, right? Yet in this instant is the time as well in which salvation comes. For fear of God has disappeared. And you can call on him to save you from illusions by his love. Calling him father and yourself his son. Pray that the instant may be soon. Today. Step back from fear and make advance to love. And repeat after me, I pray for this instant today. I commit to stepping back from fear and moving towards love. When the fear of God is gone, there are no obstacles that still remain between you and the holy peace of God. It is indeed but you your mind can try to crucify. Yet your redemption, too, will come from you. Okay, let's take a breath. <laughs> yeah, good job getting through that one. Really intense, right? Intense, it's saying with very strong language what we're actually doing as we think attack thoughts towards others. And that, you know, crucify is an intense word, and that's what we're doing when we do that and talk of, you know, a murderer within you is perceived when our mind is split. Right? So it's intense, but the course is very firm, in my opinion, on how um, unapologetic or, or direct it is about saying just how intense the anger, the guilt uh, that exists within us unexamined and the, the redemption that can come from examining this and releasing this. So hope the, hap the tapping helped you with that lesson and helps you, you know, integrate these ideas and gives you some feelings of more safety and calm as you look at this fairly intense material and keep, keep working through it. So well done. I look forward to seeing you. We're just a few more of these really much longer, more intense lessons, and then it smooths out a little bit. So I will see you soon. Take care.